Hello, hello. I've come to give you some more ideas for leaves today. I'm using the watercolour paper leaves that I cut out for the previous video. And I'm going to start by just putting on some watercolour. And I use my Starry Colours metallic palette for this. I'm just going to put some colour down onto these leaves, not thinking about it too much, just going through the palette building up some colour so there is a base for what we're going to do after this. The lighter colour didn't show up too much, but I just kept on adding more colour until I was kind of happy with them. I do actually have a bit of a technical issue in this video and missed some of the filming and I'll explain that very shortly. I just blotted some of the, the colour off once I've got that on and just dried them. So I missed a bit of the filming here. Unfortunately, the iPad was full, so it stopped recording and I didn't notice. But I decided I was going to use the metallic flakes from Finnabar. And this is most definitely a product I should not be allowed in charge of because I made a total mess. If you have any tips and tricks for using this product, please let me know. I went round the edge of the leaves with the gilding glue, let it go slightly dry, and then I started adding the flakes with a pair of tweezers. It wasn't going very well, so I ended up pouring the flakes over the leaves and just pushing it down a little bit. And this is the mess that I created doing that. So this product, it says that you need to allow the product to dry before you brush it with a soft brush to remove the excess flakes. But I ended up with so much of it, it was basically a cleaning up exercise. I didn't waste anywhere near as much of the product as I thought I was going to waste. I managed to get most of it back into the container using the brush. So this is my soft brush and this is where I had got to. I started to just pick off the larger parts and then go round and brush the leaves. I was a little bit concerned because some of the gilding flakes or the metallic flakes were folded so they weren't actually glued down but they did come off with that with the, with brushing which i was quite surprised about i was a little bit concerned also um, about the product itself how secure it would be on the leaves and i didn't know if i had to go over the top with that gilding glue now the leaves are done i don't think you do have to so i just kept brushing getting rid of all of the loose elements. Going round the edges was a little bit tricky and I did have to pick some of it off, which I don't know if you're supposed to do that. But they didn't actually turn out too bad in the end. Once they're done, I realised that I think the brush I was using was too big and a little bit too soft. So I swapped it out for a smaller brush and just finished them off. And this brush was much more successful at removing the last little bits of loose flakes. Once they were all done, I, I was happy with some of them. That one I really liked. That was quite nice where it had a mix of colours, but I thought the gilding was really quite bright so again I don't know if you should do this or you can do this but I went round with some distress ink and I used vintage photo used a, another soft brush um, and, it, and it took it a little bit it just took a little bit of that shine off but it didn't do a whole lot to the colour of the leaves I was much happier with them once I'd got a bit of ink on those and the next step was to sew them down where the stem would be 
on the leaf. So as you can see, I used a black thread for this because I really wanted it to show up and the next step is also going to be black. So I, I sewed them in one long strip and just cut them to separate them. I was quite happy with them. They had turned out better than I feared when I had my big mess. But I decided I was going to stamp them. So I grabbed my black archival ink because I was going over these metallic flakes. And I also grabbed some Tim Holtz um, text stamps. And using the ink, I just randomly stamped onto my leaves, trying not to cover the entire leaf, but giving them quite a random text here and there. The ink worked really well over the top of the metallic flakes, which I was quite surprised about. So these are the finished leaves. I still think maybe they need a little bit of a darker edge to them. So I might go in with something else later, but I'm quite happy with how they turned out in the end. I was a little bit concerned, like I said, I didn't think they were going to turn out um, quite as well as they did. But it's another little idea for you. Thank you very much for watching. Sorry about the voiceover. And I will see you all again really soon. Bye.